Good Friday morning, everyone. And yes, when you see this on my head, you already know I have zero plans to leave the house today. I am off and ladies Bible study has been canceled. So that's about it, you guys. Nothing much. Um, I'm having my breakfast. I'll show you guys. Don't judge me because this is just what I felt like eating, okay? Okay, so I bet you guys thought it was gonna be unhealthy, didn't you? So I'm having kale salad, and I know the hot link it's not that healthy, but that's just what I wanted. And cottage cheese with pineapple in it, and of course, I'm having my coffee. So yeah, this is what I felt like eating because I didn't want eggs, I didn't want cereal, I didn't want oatmeal, I didn't want pancakes, so this is what I'm eating for breakfast. And I think I mentioned this, but it was part of the clip that accidentally got deleted one morning the morning I was on my way to work anyway I got a letter to report for jury duty it's supposed to start next week but before I left my old job if I told you guys this already then sorry I apologize anyway before I left my old job I got one of those hardship letters because I am the sole provider for the house, right? And I had them sign it, tell them that it was going to be a hardship, I can't do it, blah, 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 whatever. So I sent it in and of course, you know, if you know anything with the court systems, if you do not get a response letter or if you don't hear from them basically, then it's been approved. But the way I am, <laughs> because I'm just like that, I'm like, well, what if the letter got lost in the mail? So I had to call and put in my badge number and then it said our request has been approved. Good Sunday morning everyone. I am ready for church. Just drinking my coffee and just finishing up getting ready. So I'm watching my friend Edna. She's live on YouTube right now and I actually should have played. It was 90s trivia. I knew most of the questions, not all of them, but I thought I was gonna have to leave for church, but she didn't have a lot of questions. So yeah, I have her right there at Miss World. Go check her out. Um, she has a lot of cruise videos. Like we love Disney. She loves cruises, so that's what they do. So anyway, what am I doing today? Other than church, I think I have to go to Walmart. Surprise, surprise. And that's about it. So just a boring day. It is so hot, you guys, already. 77 degrees and I don't know what the time is. Oh, it says it right here. It's 20 minutes after 11. Church starts at 12 o'clock. Just waiting on Savannah to get in the car. Tariq always drives himself now because he has to go to work at three. He works on Sundays and so instead of me having to hurry up and rush out of church, he drives his own car and gets there himself. And Cheyenne's driving herself because she is not ready. So when this train's bored, I'm leaving, no matter who's ready or not, especially now that they have their own cars. So yeah, it kind of makes no sense. All of us driving our own cars to church, but with Tyreek it does because sometimes if the church goes a little bit longer, he can just go. So last night, you guys, I watched the movie. It's called The Cure for Wellness. And I think it came out last year, but I don't know how I feel about that movie. I was kind of confused. And then, I'm just gonna give a spoiler. They had some kind of incest going on and I don't, I'm not cool with movies with incest because it's just not cool at all. So, I don't know, have you guys seen that movie and what do you think? I even had to Google the meaning of the end of the movie because it could have went two ways. But yeah, I watched that yesterday and it was not that great at all. So, yeah, have you guys seen that? And tell me, what, do you, what did you think? So it's much later in the evening and so no Cheyenne and I we are watching the new edition movie it's three separate movies and it's really long and this is the first one and she paused it for a second she's taken out of context but yeah we're just sitting here relaxing watching the new edition movie and that's about it you guys not a whole lot going on here
everyone. It is 9.30 and I'm just now grabbing the camera. Ignore this huge ugly pimple that decided it wanted to show up last night. Anyway, I am so tired, you guys. So, I don't know if I told you, but um, my work that I'm doing now, I'm doing a little bit of front office and a little bit of back office. So I'm going back and forth. But today, I spent the whole day in the back assisting the doctor. And even though I enjoyed it, it was fun getting back there again and assisting. I'm like, whoo, I'm so tired. And I am really exhausted right now. But it's a good thing. Now that I'm not just sitting down all day long, I get to move around and everything. That's that's just a good thing. So yeah, um, today is like an official, even though this was the third day, it's like really the second day because the first day was pretty much like, I'll, I'll say orientation or whatever. And today and last Thursday, I was actually assisting a doctor. So everyone there is really nice and really sweet and um, yeah, it, like I said, I know what I'm doing is just getting used to the doctor and how she works, how she likes things done, because every doctor is different, even though you, you can know what you're doing, but if you're not doing it in the order they want you to do it, you know, then you just have to learn that. So, yeah, that, but I'm extremely tired, so this will probably be all that you guys see tonight, and did I say today's Monday? Today's Monday. Monday evening. I think I did say that so I'm just laying here I'm actually probably within the next hour I'll be asleep because I feel it coming on now I tied my hair in the scarf and I probably actually should put it a little bit tighter so all this can be covered Good Friday morning everyone it is 7 30 I don't have to leave until 8 and if you're wondering, yes, I'm going into work today. It's one of those weird random things. Um, the office is normally closed on Fridays, which is a good thing because you guys know I love my three-day weekends. Occasionally, and I knew this before I accepted the position, she said she may have half a day where she'll get patients in that are just hard to get in throughout the week or just something like that, but it does not happen often, and I even gone back into the schedule to see, I'm like, hmm, how often do we work on Fridays, actually? And it's not often at all. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, I'm spoiled. A lot of people work on Fridays. You're right, I am spoiled. I love the dental field. Not all dental offices are only four days a week. Um, a lot do open five days, but because I'm so used to four days, to me, I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't work on Fridays. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm already ready. Um, today is gonna be nine to two, nine to no, 12, one, two, yeah, five hours. And today we are just doing um, a couple of new patients exams and what else? Oh, two different patients are getting married, not to each other. So she's really nice. She's giving them like a free teeth whitening. So we're gonna be doing that today and I think that's, there's not that many patients on the schedule today, so when we're done, we'll leave, even if it's before two. So yeah, I'm doing that today, and she's so sweet. So she texted all of us last night and asked us, what do we want for breakfast, including coffee? And I guess that's something she does because when we work on Fridays, you know, that's just something she does. So that's pretty sweet. We have 30 minutes. Um, don't have to be there till 9. It's 7.30. I'm leaving at... Um, it's not going to take me a whole hour to get there. I was about to say I'll leave at 8, but it's not going to take me an hour to get there. But because it's still rush hour traffic, I still want to leave a little bit early because, I don't know, just being new at the job, I don't want to be late. I, you know, I want to make a good impression. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why... I leave like super early when I start a job and how much wiggle room I have to play around with so yeah and then we have ladies Bible study it's here tonight so when I'm done with work I have to go get food for them normally I'll do it on Thursday night or Friday morning but I was so exhausted last night you guys I've been exhausted every night this week that's the reason for 
hardly any vlogs. You guys know I do that anyway, but I really wanted to vlog. But I get home and I just be like, mentally and physically done. Do I miss my old job? No. I had to heat up my little heating pad thing here <laughs> to put on my back because my back was a little bit sore. So yeah, and I know I've showed you guys this before, but I got this from Walmart for like 10 bucks and it can be an ice pack or a heating pad. I don't know if you guys can see that. And inside of it, it's like this, I guess, I call it sand, a sandbag like this. And you can heat it up or you can put it in the freezer for a cold compress. So if you're using it cold and it's already cold, don't immediately put it in the microwave to try to heat it up. They said that's not a good thing. You have to let it thaw out completely and then heat it up. So anyway, this is what I've been using on my back because being back in the assisting chair, you're leaning like this, looking in the patient's mouth. So like my neck and my mid back, it's a little tight. So, yeah. Oh, the state fair starts today. And look at that Good Day Sacramento. And they said it starts today, but I am not going. Um, I don't know if my kids are gonna go, like Tariq or Cheyenne with their friends. Um, that's them, but I'm not going to spend my money on it because I'm saving my money for our vacation, which is actually in, I will tell you guys how many days. I know I haven't told you guys where we're going, but, 63 days I'm so excited I cannot wait details to come later so just stay tuned for that just guarantee you it's going to be epic so you know we have Netflix but we also got Hulu and I don't know if we're gonna keep it but right now I'm enjoying it because I've always wanted to watch The Handmaid's Tale because I seen the previews and I knew that was just something I would like, right? But I didn't know exactly what it was about. So I'm like trying to binge watch it because I don't know if we're gonna keep it after, you know, the three months prescription prescription the three months it's over so yeah but it's really good do you guys watch it have you guys watched it do you guys know what it's about I didn't even think it was gonna be about what it's really about it's good it makes me want to jump through the TV and like strangle everyone and if you've seen it you'll know what I'm t saying um, if you haven't seen it and you have Hulu go watch it so yeah, you guys, I've been doing that and I just started season two. The only thing I hate with things that say a free trial basis, to me, free should be free. I shouldn't have to put in my credit card. It, it should be just completely free and then after that, then cut it off or whatever like that. But no, you have to, oh, we'll give you 30 days free, but give me your credit card number. I don't wanna give you my credit card number. You guys, I left it in the microwave too long. I walked away from it and forgot, and look how it expanded. I'm so scared to touch it because it feels hard. I feel like it's going to pop. Oh my gosh, this is like the third one I've bought. It's slowly going down, but there's no way I can use it at this moment. Crap. Okay, so it finally settled down, and it did not pop. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to have to buy another one, and the sand is still soft but it's super hot and yeah, I'm just gonna put this on my back and head out Good to afternoon work. everyone, it is Saturday and I just got back from, so anyway, I just got back from the uniform store because my new office provides uniforms for us. They give us an allowance, I guess they said twice a year and she asked me normally where do I get my scrubs from and I told her Walmart and she was like, no, 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 we want quality and I'm like, call me trash <laughs> not really it's just a joke but anyway Walmart does not have the better quality of material she paid for it she gave me the company credit card and I'll show you guys what are what I got so her favorite colors are black and gray which I'm okay with that because now my walls are gray and let me show you guys what I got didn't get any skirts because they did not have any scrub skirts I already have two black scrub skirts I'm just gonna use that for now so just got a lab coat and we need the one with the stretchy material at the wrist and this one was $31.99. So this right here, super cute. And these right here, I don't know if you know anything about scrubs or whatever, but this brand, Pure, I don't know how anyone works in this. The material, it does not feel like regular scrubs. I can sleep in this. It feels so soft and nice. So anyway, I got 
two gray ones and this brand is actually has a little tree on it so I got two gray tops and two black tops and the lab coat and like I said I already have two scrub skirts so yeah all this was $201 so you guys this is the scrub skirt that I have back pocket I'm gonna actually go on Amazon and get the straight kind because this one I really don't like because it gathers at the waist and I don't like that and of course it has pockets on each side so when I wear this it looks really really faded right now on the camera but actually looking at it it's not that bad and then of course when I wear the gray tops with it you know it'll look okay so I'm all set you guys Shoo, she could do this twice a year. So this is my uniform that I'll be wearing and they all fit the same, so I'm not gonna model all of them, but yeah, black and gray, or all black or all gray. And of course, don't forget the lab coat because when we're actually working in a patient's mouth, according to laws, you have to have sleeves on and so nothing won't get on your arms. And plus, I hate it when I have to jump in a chair really quick to help assist until another assistant get back like at other jobs and I don't have a lab coat on and feeling like stuff from their mouth splatter on my arms is disgusting so yeah lab coat when we're actually working in the patient's mouth and if there's downtime or if patients cancel I usually take my lab coat off because it gets pretty warm when you're running around so it's much later and once again party of one the two older ones are at work and Savannah actually went to the mall with Evie so she's hanging out with her today and I guess I better get used to this. I don't like this. I really don't, you guys. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here um, watching TV, watching things on YouTube um, about where we're going for vacation. I am just finalizing some things um, as far as... I don't, I'm not the type of person that makes up an itinerary when I go places, but at least write down things that we would like to do. So. That's what I'm doing, I'm super excited. More details to follow later maybe. I'm not spending any money right now because we're still saving and, okay, I will say this, one more thing. Today I officially paid everything off. So everything is paid and the only thing that I'm saving for now is spending money and food money and souvenirs. And yeah, you guys, um, not doing a whole lot right now just being alone in the house just me so Savannah decided to come home I told him I was all alone so she went shopping with Evie and she got things from Aura Gold and what is that a body scrub yeah it smells good you can use it for your hands and your face what does it smell like it's, this is yet. the container it comes in but oh, so it's flying oh. all over the place because the fans on yeah. and she went to Forever 21 of course that's like one of her favorite stores I got this it's like a crop sweater. Crop sweater. Whatever. Oh, you had one of those, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. And then this dress. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. If you guys think it is too short, we always layer it. So yeah. you guys, I'm sure, will see her in it. Yeah. So that's it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, so they went to Sephora also. And you guys know we don't wear makeup, but they took a free survey, 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 and they got like just random things. So I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, Savannah got CISS the strongest buzzing lip balm in the whole world. Well, you guys, this is crazy. Literally, when you put it on your lips, your lips feel like they're jiggling. I don't like the feeling. Savannah loves it, and so yeah. This was free also. Freak your lips out for girls or boys. So it's basically just chapstick that makes your lips jiggle. And I do not like how it feels. And she got a bunch of samples from Sephora. So yeah, have you guys ever tried anything like this? If so, let me know in the comments. I don't like it, but she loves it and it just feels really weird. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and wrap my hair up. I know it's been a whole lot of me in this vlog, not much of the kids, but 
they haven't been around so you guys got me thank you so so much for watching do me a favor before you leave make sure you subscribe if you haven't already if you want to be a part of the shell bell life family where that come from i don't know but if you want to be a part of the shell bell life family make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye